Okay, so in this style here, this is using an LC network to transform the approximate 50 ohm impedance in to go through what's known as the hybrid coupler splitter that you'll see in the three totem pole uh, figure in application note AN749. Now there's all sorts of stuff, but I won't, won't want to do experiment because whenever I saw this kind of style, I was always like, okay, how is it operating? So if you see here, these are the three approximate 50 ohm inputs. Yes, they're purely resistive, but this is good for testing purposes. So this is your 350 ohm input to your to your amplifier. So you would have an amplifier here, an amplifier here, and an amplifier here with the input impedance of 50 ohms. So you have one 50 ohm source driving three 50 ohm sources. These are 100 ohm balancing resistors. So since we have three 50 ohm input impedances, when they are split, they are effectively seen right here as approximate 16 ohms. So you take 50, you divide it by three, and you get 16, okay? So the path is the 50 ohm output into the, it uh, hits the capacitor to ground, and th then it hits the inductor that feeds into the 16 ohms here, okay? But because this is an LC, this isn't broadband. So I have it currently tuned from 28 to 30 megahertz, okay? So the signal flow is again, out of a 50 ohm output into a 50 ohm input, signal is transformed here. So the output of the radio thinks it's driving 50 ohms, but it's 16 ohms, but this, this capacitor plus this inductor plus the split 16 ohms here all as one is acting as 50 ohms because of the LC network here. Okay, so signal in, hits the 16 ohm, okay? And then if you see here, all these transformers they're technically, they're separated on the other side here, but they're all connected electrically here. So your signal comes in, is split between here. I use a little bit of extra capacitance, okay? 39 picofarads here. Um, so then it's, then the signal goes through the transformer core there, and it ends up here. And then if you see the green wire, it goes back through to this one. Blue goes over here. White from this one over here. Okay, so this is a splitter configuration. Okay, so if you see here, come on. The approximate E impedance at 28 megahertz is 45 ohms. That. And the SWR is 1.08. So then if we take it and we go all the way to 30, it goes to, to an SWR of 1.24 and an impedance of 47.5 ohms. Oh, come on. Come on. You. What are you doing? Okay, back game. Okay. And it's slightly capacitive at this point. So 
this is the just the specialty frequency it's it's specialty frequency what i mean is it's not broadband this is what i would call a hyper tune so you would have three 10 meter amplifiers here and you can tune this for 14 megahertz 3.5 7 but the only disadvantage is the that this amplifier that you can see that would have your 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 three other amplifiers after the splitter would all be tuned for a particular frequency okay so just wanted to explain this style here and the reference is an749 the application note and it speaks about combining and splitting and you can find the three port diagram there alrighty we'll be back